Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I want to apologize, first of all, because of the quality of this video. As you guys can see, I'm actually recording from my laptop. I'm trying to get these messages to cross as soon as possible as we are, uh, you know, celebrating May the 1st. Um, so I wanted to do this as soon as possible and not wait a second more. It's been a hectic, crazy day, so I'm unable to record from my um, a better quality camera um, as it's actually a little better and I'm actually charging it. So I am definitely getting this through regardless of a bit of difficulties that I've been encountering throughout the day. It's just been a crazy, hectic day, one of those days. Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and let's get right into it. I've already shuffled the cards. I've already uh, broke them down and... Uh, cut them for time purposes. So let's get right into your reading, Aries. So in regards to air and communication, how you will be communicating with uh, loved one, friends, family members, and coworkers, etc. Your communication sector, you have the world card, beautiful card. Uh, the world card definitely talks about endings and also being able to accomplish uh, some type of some type of accomplishment, whether it was. Um, that you're in school, whether it's that you're going to college and you're about to uh, accomplish a certain goal uh, in regards to health, uh, maintaining a diet, uh, working now, some type of new you know regimen or whatnot, you're definitely going to be able to see the results of it for the month of May. Um, this also speaks about travel. So there may be a lot of travel involved for the month of May for you Aries out there. Uh, if you're currently thinking about or planning about uh, I feel that by the end of May, there's going to be a lot of preparing for the travel or actually the actual travel itself. So I definitely see that with this world card here. <clears throat> In regards to Earth and the finances, you have the full card. Whoa, Aries, you have two major arcanas. So the full card is definitely taking on new beginnings and being able to experience new experiences. With the world card, I feel that there's definitely... Uh, travel is definitely going to be very highlighted for you guys for the month of May. And the full card definitely um, travel towards places or people, even meeting new people from different parts of the world that perhaps you've never been exposed to. Perhaps you're not aware of their culture or something like that, but it's going to be very enticing, very exciting for you. Uh, the full definitely mentions new beginnings. So for some of you guys, it could be that there was currently an ending of a relationship and being able to pretty much... Um, tap into new waters or be able to mingle and see what's out there basically for some of you guys. Now in regards to the fire element, your challenge for the month of May 2018, you have you have the four of pentacles. So as a challenge, the four of pentacles is do not be very stingy, whether it's stingy with your finances, uh, whether it's the fear of losing or not having enough, the fear of not even for those of you guys that are currently single, the fear of not connecting with someone because you're scared of being hurt or whatnot, the Four of Pentacles definitely tells you as a challenge, there's a necessary for you to be open. If you have enough, there's absolutely nothing wrong with sharing. I guarantee that you will not go broke if you <laughs> share, uh, whether it's, you know, the abundance that you have, whether it's sharing emotions or being vulnerable once in a while, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Four of Pentacles is basically encouraging you um, to try the best you can. And here's the thing when in regards to finances, there's nothing wrong with being watchful of how we spend our money, how we invest our money. There's nothing wrong with that. But if there is some type of fear attached to abundance for you. So an example, if you're doing very, very good, and you have this anxiety or worry that you may lose it someday, then guess what's going to happen? You might lose it someday. So you need to really get yourself. It's almost like you're not being able to experience, like to fully experience the blessings. Um, it's almost like spirit is blessing you in regards to your finances, but either you're not being that grateful or you're worried and concerned that it's not always going to last or that it's not always going to be that way. So try the best you can to release yourself from that fear. Um, enjoy the moment, enjoy the ride, and enjoy um, being able to pretty much see the fruits of your labor. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And there's nothing wrong with detaching from the world sometimes and going on trips or going on a vacation. 
uh, sometimes it's necessary for our self-growth, okay? So in regards to your water and emotions, you have the Page of Wands. So the Page of Wands is definitely talking about having a lot of communication. Uh, for those of you guys that are single, you may be communicating with more than one or more than two people, um, pretty much getting to know them. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with communicating and going out and having fun if you're not particularly just, you know, seeing someone in particular. If you are, in fact, in a long-term committed relationship, the Page of Wands definitely talks about being open and not being shy about how you communicate uh, your fears, your desires, what you're wanting from the relationship. There's a need almost to take on the quality of the Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands is a person that Perhaps when, you know, if you're 40 or 45, perhaps you're not as spontaneous as you once were. Perhaps you are more careful, more methodical about how you approach relationships. And there's nothing wrong with that because obviously experience, you know, uh, does prevent us from making the same stupid mistakes we've done in the past. Nonetheless, there's absolutely nothing wrong with uh, feeling butterflies. There's nothing wrong with uh, growing or feeling that you're growing attached to someone that's usually what happens. <laughs> That's usually what happens in a relationship. So again, uh, take the approach of when you were younger in regards to love and romance, because I definitely do see a lot of movement for the month of May for you guys. Okay. And finally, your spirits advice. This is the overall message. Aries. Wow. Beautiful cards. I think Aries has not had such a beautiful message for quite a while. It's like usually your finances are off or your love is off. It, it always seems like that, kind of like Capricorn. Nonetheless, with the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Cups is a ve very beautiful uh, message as a spirit's message. So the spirit, what spirit is telling you in an overall message is that for the month of May, there's absolutely nothing wrong with almost kind of uh, enjoying the love that is being given to you and it's almost a giving and receiving type of energy. Put the same effort that they're putting in in regards to whether it's friends, whether it's family, whether it's your loved one. If they're putting effort, put the same amount of effort into it so you can really be able to rejoice in the, really be able to rejoice in the uh, mutual love that is being given and mutual opportunities and mutual understanding and mutual compassion for one another. And this is in every single aspect of your life. Be grateful for the blessings that you have because there's definitely new beginnings coming for you in the horizon. Okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. If you have not subscribed, I highly encourage you to do so. And we'll see each other soon. Bye.